This is the teenage boy who was supposed to be looking after little Demi Lee Mayen, but instead, on his birthday last year, he battered her to death because she wouldn't be quiet. For the first time, we can reveal his identity as 15-year-old Carl McClooney. He has a severe mental disorder, but a jury decided that he still knew what he was doing and found him guilty of murder. On the 15th of July last year, Demi Lee's mum, Cindy, left the toddler with Carl at a flat in Eccles. It was Carl's 15th birthday and she'd gone out to buy him a card. When she returned, Demi Lee was unconscious. Cindy, seen here in the middle, was in court and broke down after hearing the verdict. A statement was read on her behalf. He is a monster who has taken away my little princess away from me. Finally, she'd just like to say that she'd like to say to Demi, please remember my princess, mummy's always with you. Uh, I think he's a monster. He's just an evil, twisted little monster. Demi Lee's dad was also in court with the child's two grandmothers. He's no longer with Demi Lee's mum, but says he's still devastated by what happened to their daughter. It just goes through me head all the time, and dreams, and just see her all the time. I mean, some of the dreams, what I have, they're really weird. I see her running about, <clears throat> I'm playing, and then I see that coffin going down. It's just horrible. During the trial, the jury saw and heard graphic details of the injuries inflicted on Demi Lee. According to the pathologist, she'd suffered a severe and sustained physical assault. She'd been repeatedly punched, possibly kicked and shaken as well. It was just horrendous. You know, all one side of her face all swollen up and bruised. and It's just, just unbelievable that somebody could do that to a little girl like that. Until today, we haven't been able to reveal the killer's identity because of his young age and vulnerability. But the judge has lifted the anonymity order, saying that given the verdict of murder and the strength of public interest in a case like this, it was right that Carl McClooney's name be known to the public. When the jury returned their verdict, there were gasps throughout the courtroom. Murder carries with it a mandatory life sentence, but the judge will decide the minimum term at the end of next month. Ben Bland, Channel M News.